So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to promote a quiz to suss out a customer's interests, preferences, or guide them to the right product to satisfy their needs. This way, they'll be more than happy to part with valuable information you can use to market to them later. And it's engaging for them as well. It's a win-win situation. So in this example, this is a quiz for an e-commerce store that sells pet supplements, specifically for dogs. So you can see here, I'm um, just asking, saying, hey, um, you know, you want to take this quick quiz to find out what products are best for your dog? Click the Get Started button below. Now I have an action step that clears out the questions. When they answer a questions, they will actually have these fields that will allow you to get the results to them. The other thing I have here is a um, increase a product quiz by one, and this is a bot field. This is just so you can keep track to see, okay, how many people have actually taken this quiz? And then I'm also setting the uh, a custom field called product quiz number custom field to that bot field. You can actually integrate this with a Google Sheet. So then that way you have everything in a Google Sheet to reference and to look at the answers for your own customer research, right? Just an FYI. So with um, your product quiz, uh, one thing I like to do is always just asking them their name um, if you don't already have it. Uh, but in this case, it's for a dog. So asking them what their dog's name is, right? So you can reference their dog throughout the quiz. Um, and then I ask them if they're a male or female. So the main or the first question uh, that's related to products then asks if they have a yard to play in. So they say yes or no. And I have these as a multiple choice here. And the reason for that, instead of just quick replies or button, if people start asking a question, it will stop the automation. This way, if they start typing in something, yes, he does, instead of just hitting yes, it will then give them redirect message saying, please select one of the options below. So that will help you in the long run of not needing to constantly having to get people back into the automation because they chose to type something instead of clicking a button. So you see here, if they say yes, then the have a yard to play in product quiz custom field is set to one. Uh, next question saying, you know, uh, how old is your dog? And then choosing the category that best fits, giving them the options for ages. And then in this case, it's for joint pain. So if the dog is older, might potentially have a joint pain supplement that might be good for them. But if not, then uh, it just goes on to the next step. So the next one that we're gonna do is asking if they have anxiety. I was gonna put this in a user input here, same thing. Let me uh, take that out of there. Because again, want it multiple choice, so that way they will stay on track. Okay, so, all right. And then go here, Then we'll just do the same thing where it goes to, let's do a condition first, and that's, is yes. Okay, so we'll go here. There's that. And so then also multiple choice, we gotta put them in here. So we'll put uh, yes. And then we'll put no. No, alrighty. Okay, so then we add the custom field for that. So set custom field. Set it to one. Okay, and then the other one, or the last one we're gonna do is about the dog's coat. Okay, so that's all the questions. So as soon as they're done, then we're gonna go here. One thing I would definitely implement though is putting in reminder messages. So instead of expiring after 23 hours, have it expire after like six minutes. And then after six minutes, um, it will remind them saying, you know, um, you know, were, did you want to um, finish the quiz or something along those lines, right? With a yes or no. And then they say yes and just bring it back to there. So that way those people who get distracted that you remind them gently with reminder messages. So definitely do that throughout with all of your questions that you ask throughout the uh, quiz. Okay, so then what I do is I ask for their email, right? Um, so when they give their email, uh, same thing here. It's like if they didn't um, provide their email, we'll just do this. Same thing with the, um, the delay, right? For the user input. So we'll do, let's do six minutes again. 
Okay, so now once you give the email, now here's where it comes to the answers. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Um, so it's kind of crazy um, for each one, but, the, and again, this is just based off, off of four questions. So again, if you have more questions or more products, you definitely then want to um, use something like bot sheets. But you can see here, I start off saying, you know, like it, it, did they answer yes or in the positive with joint pain? So if they said yes, then did they answer yes for anxiety and then for coat and then for the yard, right? So if they answered yes to all of them, then they would get all four. So you see all the different combinations, right? So definitely a well-crafted product quiz will help you make an excellent first impression. So if you want to create a unique and engaging shopping experience for your customers, you want to definitely give this tactic a try. It's worked so well for a ton of my clients. Um, if you're in the need of any additional Instagram automation inspiration, be sure to join the ManChat community on Facebook, ask your questions there. Also, be sure to check out the ManChat blog for some other brilliant ideas that you can use for your business as well. And keep in mind our support page if you run into any technical issues at all while you're building your automation. Have a great day.